Our work in advanced materials ranges everything from nanoscale materials to large composite structures. Everything from synthesis and functionalization to processing and performance. Our annual research expenditures exceed $63 million. At least 20% of that is related to advanced materials. The history of Lowell actually started with the American Industrial Revolution and the textile industry in the late 1800s. The university actually started as the Lowell Textile Institute to support that industry. Fifty years ago, the faculty recognized the growing importance of polymers, and that led to the establishment of the plastics engineering program. Things have evolved, but have still kept that core in terms of polymers and in terms of advanced materials and supporting industry. The Baseball Research Center at the University of Massachusetts Lowell is dedicated to doing analytical and experimental investigations of baseball and other sports. We work closely with Major League Baseball and many of the sporting goods companies. We have a broad capability in doing material characterization. And the information that we can gain from those tests give me the ability to investigate real world problems, such as understanding wood properties or incorporating in finite element models of baseball bats for examining bat durability. We want to continue to apply our research expertise to improve our understanding of sporting equipment and use this understanding to assist companies, athletes, and governing bodies. In the College of Engineering, we have expertise in polymer matrix composites, and specifically in the manufacture of those composites. NIST has tasked us with doing a road mapping study over the next two years as to the current state of composites manufacturing in the U.S. and where it will go in the future. Our faculty are working with some five or six other universities, over 50 companies, some seven or eight nonprofit government agencies, all to try to figure out what are the challenges that industry faces. Our research group is working on high performance composite material. Those materials, they can fulfill applications such as wind turbine blades or automotive applications. Unfortunately, currently, they're mostly derived from fossil fuels and they're also buried in the landfill once they've reached their end of life. My research group is developing approaches to have bio-derived resins. It's also working on changing the chemical composition of the material to enable molecular flow at high temperature while maintaining outstanding performance at room temperature. This is called reworkability. Polymer nanocomposites have already reached the market in applications such as food packaging or structural automotive application or wire and cable insulation. But really, understanding how to optimize the material is key to the success when reaching the market. So improve processing techniques and additional offering for the end of life will actually contribute to greening the manufacturing techniques for polymer material in general. UMass Lowell was awarded one of the National Science Foundation Industry University Cooperative Research Centers in wind energy in particular, which is a center that brings together multiple universities and multiple companies to identify both the challenges and projects to address pre-competitive limitations that the industry faces. The research efforts we currently are carrying here at the campus of UMass Lowell is attracting international collaboration with partners. It's also attracting international students and a diverse body of students who are coming here to be trained in our laboratories. University of Massachusetts Lowell has a student enrollment of a little bit over 17,000. Roughly a quarter of those are graduate students. Those numbers have been growing in an amazing fashion over the last six, seven years. Our enrollments have increased by some 40, 45 percent. At the same time, the academic quality of those students has increased in terms of GPAs and SATs. Over the last five, six years, we've had some 10 new buildings on campus. One that's most directly related to advanced materials is the Mark and Alicia Saab Emerging Technologies and Innovation Center. The unique thing about this building is that it really brings together many disciplines. Here in this building, we have the unique capability of taking materials concepts all the way from design and planning through manufacturing and into testing of the characteristics of that material. 
Uniquely, we also have the right people here, students and faculty, to make those things a reality. My research group is interested in studying bio-based plastics that can be used to replace materials currently used uh, that are petroleum derived. We are interested in studying how we can blend and augment these materials using cutting edge processing techniques in order to produce materials that are stronger, lighter and tougher that will also be more sustainable for the future. Our students have the opportunity to work on fundamental research as well as to meet and interact with industrial collaborators and this gives them a unique ability to jump into the job market and really have a good foundation in what they should be doing. One of the things that we're very excited about is the partnerships that we developed with industry, with government, with national labs. In the past year, we've actually opened uh, one significant partnership with the Natick Soldier rd &E Center, another one with Raytheon, and both of these are co-location partnerships where they have their people on campus working side by side with our faculty and students. We believe that this is really the future of where the research and development is going. These partnerships where on a daily basis people are interacting and coming up with creative solutions to challenges.